y'all doing? Yo, I love y'all too. That's real talk. Detroit, y'all are like day one. 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 For me. Y'all are literally like day one for me. It didn't matter if it took me five years to put a record out, 10 years to put another record out. There you were, singing the music. And so, thank you, sister. And supporting a sister. I love you. I'm so glad to be here. Air traffic control couldn't keep me from getting here. Broke down computers couldn't keep me from getting here. I'm God's child. He knew what I was trying to do. And he knew y'all was gonna be here waiting. So ain't nobody from the play. We came to sing tonight. I wanna dedicate this next song. I did that the last time. <laughs> no, we are going to, this gentleman brought me here back in, well I gotta make sure my wig don't slip y'all. Let's keep it right. Everybody, y'all know I ain't throwing this out my scalp. All right, thank you baby. This gentleman standing to my left, brought me to the last concert that I did before the world was shut down by a disease named COVID. He lost his mom, and this was one of her favorite songs. It was actually one of my favorite songs to perform. And so I told him I wanted to, in the spirit of his mother, dedicate this song to Mama Alicia Reed. And that's why we love you. I love to be able to sing music. I know that life hurts sometimes, but what I love about the music that God literally gifted me to bring to the world is that I'll sing to you about that pain, but I'm also gonna tell you that it's not gonna always be that way. So if you would join me, raise your voice this evening, and we're gonna let the world know that sometimes it'll rain.
Oh my God. What in the world, y'all? I feel good. Y'all feel good. I made it to 51 years of age. Your girl's still hanging in here. I've been doing this for a living for 31 years. God has been very, very good to me. And I don't take any of it for granted. I love this city. I love the way this city loves me. And so I want to take y'all all the way back to the beginning. Before I ever had a single, I was still singing background for people. Going to the studio, I was the girl in the corner with the pad and the pen, writing the lyrics, singing the background. I had a lot of fun doing it. Never ever thought I could have a career of my own, because that's all I had ever been told. You got a beautiful voice, but you know, little, eh, eh. And so I settled into it, and it was a blessing. But my name ain't God, and neither was theirs. And he had a different plan. But I stole this idea from Babyface. This segment would be too long if I went through all of this. I'm just gonna do a couple that you may or may not know that I not only wrote, but sang on as well. This is back when we went to the club and we made it home at night after the club was over. So I got one rule, if you know it. Let's take them to the club. damned if you talk about it like a dog in front of me. Ain't finna happen. Ain't, ain't gonna do it. 
and I'm not gonna stand by, they're probably gonna have to move me to keep me out of trouble. I'm not gonna stand by and listen to somebody else talk about her like that either. She, she came from us, she belongs to us, and she is not the sum total of her struggles. Cause some of your stuff you definitely don't want nobody to know about. And one thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Every last one of us has someone in our family or who is connected to us that has had a similar struggle. And there but for the grace of God, go I, go you. So can we make each other a promise Cause I ain't never went nowhere and heard anybody call Amy Winehouse a crackhead. Can I just keep it real? I done been around the world a few times. And people pay to go see Elvis Presley's house. I'ma leave that right there. There's no reason for me to go any further. You know what I'm saying. So my vow is that I will lift the name Whitney Elizabeth Houston because she opened a lot of doors for a lot of people me included, we wouldn't even be able to come and do this kind of stuff if it wasn't for Whitney Houston. Beyonce can be the biggest artist in the world right now and not be called a sellout, cause she got called a sellout. Amen, somebody is still Sunday. Well, I'ma honor somebody else that I really, really love. She's not from the city, but she's not far. A lot of her musical influences came out of this city. And when I was a kid, I used to listen to this song on the radio, I had to sneak, because if my mama walked in the house and heard me listening to WBLS, she would go upside my head like five times. But I love, love, love this song. Didn't even know what I was singing about. Then when I found out what I was singing about, I still loved it, because it just had so much conviction to me. I had the opportunity to record this song, and I want to sing it with you tonight. The year is 2000. If you know it, sing along. Thank you. 
I know we got Lady Monica coming and I want to make sure she has all her time. But I got to take you back to the year, oh Jesus, 1996. What was I doing in 19? You said you were one. You was one. Somebody please sit him down. I'm 50 years older than you are, sir. <laughs> but look, this is what God will do for you. This is what he'll do for you. <laughs> okay, not quite 50. Not quite 50, but close. The year is 1996. I'm working as a songwriter. And I got a, I got, I was asked a question by the producer I was working with that day. And he said, I was just asked to do something for the Isley Brothers. I have the music, but I want you to write it. I said, sure, absolutely. I love to write a song for the Isley Brothers. When you need it back? Right now. Yeah, he said, well, they just left the hotel. They probably hit a little bit of traffic, but you probably got about an hour or less to get it done. They already on their way to the studio. Um, I will say this. It was a day where I was challenged and because I didn't say no and let fear make me walk away from what I thought I was not ready for, I found out just how ready I could be in the last minute. So when our parents and our aunties and them would say stay ready so you don't have to get ready, it means something. It means something. What you practice is what you will perform. If your response to craziness is always to lash out, that's what you're gonna do and you're not gonna even think about it. So let's remember what the aunties told us. Let's remember what grandmama and them and, and mama and them told us. Practice whatever it is. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Came from there, did the song with him. He asked me to go on tour with him later that year as a background singer. Our first night on the road was at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia. Our second night on the road was in Boston, Massachusetts at the Strand Theater. And he got to the end of his session, told the band to break down, and he starts singing a song. And he called me by my name and said, Kelly, come stand with me. And he handed me the microphone and I'm looking at him like, oh man, what you finna do? And he looked at me and he gave me one of them looks like your parents give you and he was like, sing. He handed me the microphone, I closed my eyes, I gave it everything I got. And when I opened my eyes, there was not a seat that was still being sat in in the room. And he took the microphone from me and told that, that audience that night, you just met my new artist. Be on the lookout for her album. He told them before he asked me. And so my testimony to anybody that knows that you were born to do something, it's never too late. God's time ain't your time. And sometimes it'll send somebody to remind you because we'll start to doubt ourselves because we will let people get in our ear and tell us because we didn't do it by such and such a time that it ain't gonna ever happen. I'm a living witness. It can still happen. So I wanna encourage all of you, what came from that yes instead of a no or a maybe was an album that we call Soul of a Woman. And it all got started with this song right here. One rule. If you know it, sing along. I love y'all, Detroit. Oh, na, 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 na. Why does it hurt so bad, baby, baby? Why do I feel so sad and I want to sing? Oh, na, na, na.
Everybody stay safe. Y'all make some noise, my girl.